It is an exciting time to be in the games industry. Some high-end games have got the same sort of budgets as feature films. Modern game development requires a whole series of highly computer-intensive tasks. You've got video editing, you've got 3D modelling, you've got real-time 3D editing. And it takes an awful lot of technology to bring all that together. So the University Campus Suffolk opened in 2007 and the game design course has been running since then to make sure that our students are prepared for the professional world. The top technology challenges that UCS was trying to overcome was combining low heat output, silent performance with a high performance workstation design. The old systems were off the shelf consumer models. They were loud and they were hot and they were unreliable. So students often had better hardware at home. I was finding that doing any kind of 3D work was really slow and clunky, so I was actually spending more time at home than I was here. My role was, was helping UCS pick and decide what the best workstation choice would be for their application, bearing in mind they need best-in-class performance, but they also need price performance. The Fujitsu platform featuring the Intel Xeon processor was chosen because we wanted to mirror quite closely what students would experience in their professional careers. New workstations just allow us to do work a lot quicker. We can have multiple applications going at once. I'll have Unity in one window, I'll have 3DS Max in another window. The new Intel Xeon based workstations are cool and they're quiet and that's ideal for a classroom. In the future, I'm really looking forward to getting into the games industry. And I think the uh, time I've spent with the Intel Xeon-based workstations is just going to really help me. <laughs>